first couple of months has been great. Uh, just getting here and adjusting uh, to like basically a brand new way of life, uh, lifestyle as far as football and the expectations. Um, it, it's been pretty uh, strenuous, but I mean, I love it. I mean, I'm up for the challenge. Um, that's something they talked to us about, not really taking um, the stuff that they ask us to do and the things that they have us to do as a threat, but just looking at it as a challenge and uh, seeing how we respond. What was the portal experience like for you? Did you know that you were going to have an opportunity to go from Georgia State all the way up to USC? Honestly, at first I didn't. Um, I knew it was going to be something big. I had faith you know, in myself and in my game and in uh, my body of work and what I did at Georgia State. Um, you know, moving from quarterback and going to inside linebacker then outside linebacker. Um, I just knew, you know, God didn't bring me this far just to bring me this far. Um, so I knew something was, you know, something was in the writings. And I was just excited to see what it was. Um, and I'll never forget, I was on the way to class when I heard from um, Coach Grinch. Coach Grinch uh, hit me up via Twitter, and I couldn't, you know, I couldn't focus on class for the rest of the day. So, um, that was a great day. You know, I was excited that we ended up connecting. Uh, I think it's the best decision I've ever made. What, what, what did they say about what they saw in you and what they thought your potential was? I mean, they just told me, you know, they watched the film and they seen uh, my ability, what I can do on the field. But most importantly, they know about the type of guy I am off of the field. Um, and they know what I bring as far as leadership. So um, I think with that, you know, they were very excited, uh, just like I was. Uh, I think it was very mutual, mutual decision. You came into school expecting, I assume, to be a quarterback at the college level. Yeah. What, what led to that transition ultimately? Uh, I mean, destiny, I guess. I think, you know, uh, a lot of us, even all of us standing here right now, we all have a we all had this picture perfect idea of what we want our lives to be. Um, but God has a funny way of, you know, slapping our hands and letting us know what He has His, um, what he, you know, what His say on things are. Um, and I've just grown and I've learned to just sit back and just let them work. Um, because, you know, I think when you do that, I think everything just flows the way it's supposed to be. Um, never in a million years that I think I would be standing in Los Angeles for my first time ever. Um, but, you know, everything works out the way it's supposed to. So, um, were you resistant at all to the idea of switching when, when you made the switch initially? Um, initially, um, yeah, a little bit, to be honest. Um, but like I said, I just sat back and I learned how to just let things flow. Um, I think, you know, sitting down with my parents, obviously, um, thank God for them. Um, you know, they helped me just handle things the right way um, and look at it from an E plus R equals O standpoint, which is what we talk about as a team. You know? um, you're going to get a random event, but you choose how you respond to it and not react. So I think, it's all, I think that's the most important thing. How much does playing quarterback in the past help uh, playing defense? Oh, it helps a lot. Um, it helps a lot. Just uh, ask, you know, Caleb, me and him talk about a lot about, you know, kind of what I see from, um, you know, his snap count point of views, like certain formations that I can get a you know, beat on certain things in practice. Um, so if you can get a beat on some of the things that them guys do, I mean, he's Heisman Trophy for a reason. He makes a lot of um, ridiculous decisions at the line. He checks a lot. So... Um, for me to be able to process that and still understand what's coming, I think that that definitely has something to do from my former quarterback at select. So, um, I mean, that's another thing that I'm grateful for because it just allows me to play faster. On the flip side, as you're learning to be an edge rusher, what was the, the toughest part about making that transition? Um, learning a different side? The toughest part probably was just switching my mentality because um, you got to think I went from playing, you know, no disrespect to quarterbacks, you know, but I went from playing one of the least physical positions on the field to probably the, one of the most physical positions on the field, um, you know, with an exception of those guard probably. But, I mean, I think, you know, to do that is very uncanny, and you got to definitely switch your mentality before you do anything because, um, you you know, there's no being soft on that side of the ball. So I think that definitely was the, the biggest thing for me. Are there certain players that you kind of try and model your game after to put you into that mentality? Um, I mean, I study a lot of guys, um, but, you know, like I study a lot of guys like Vaughn Miller, uh, Michael Parsons for sure, how he gets off the ball. Um, um, but, you know, when it comes to just my game, I try to make it my game. So uh, I, I take a, a lot of stuff from different guys that are, that are in the league, um, but I just, you know, like to watch myself and um, see where I can be better. And that's why I'm grateful for Coach Manning because he allows me to be better each and every day. So, Are there any areas that you want to focus on in the spring? I mean, is, is there anything that you kind of have priority uh, over like you know different things you want to do on the field dominate that's it anything I do um, they could be you know dominating and winning that's all I got to do one more but last year who planned to see to you that if you enter the portal you could probably jump to a bigger school you said who planted to see yeah um, to be honest that that came out of nowhere like 
Um, we played like our last, well, yeah, we played like our last game at Georgia State, and um, I got the feeling, obviously, and a little bit, I guess you could say, uh, impulsive. But I talked to my parents. Um, my mom, I joke with her to this day. She was a little hesitant about it. But, uh, you know, as we sat down, we obviously sat down and prayed about it. I didn't make any decisions without talking to God first, and that's just who I am. Um, so after I talked to him, everything started falling in line, including the call from Coach Grant. So um, I think, you know, that's it came from God, to be honest.